VPNs and browsers make an excellent pairing. It's like peanut butter and jelly. If you want to know how to set up your browser with a VPN, look no further than this video. Speaking of which, if you enjoyed this tutorial, then don't forget to give the video a giant thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. First, let me tell you why you would want to use the browser extension. As you may know, Surfshark is available as a desktop application and a browser extension. The key difference between them is that the extension only covers your browser traffic, while the app will cover your entire device and no matter what kind of device it is. It could be a phone, desktop computer, doesn't matter. And that's really nice. However, sometimes you may not be able to install the app due to the lack of admin rights on your device. This is where the extension comes in, since it can be installed freely without the need of an admin account. Also, the extension may be a better option if you like the browser extension ecosystem in general. Maybe you are already using a bunch of them and you just find them easier to access. Currently, our extension is available on Chromium-based browsers like Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, and Firefox. But now, let me show you how to set it up. Let's start with Chrome. Begin by logging into your Surfshark account on our website and on the left side, select Apps and Extensions. Scroll down just a bit and you will see download options for all browsers. Since we are setting up Chrome, let's click on that. At the top right, select Add to Chrome, then click Add Extension. And just like that, the extension is installed. You will be taken to a new page instructing you to change some additional settings to make the extension easier to use. Begin by clicking on this puzzle icon at the top right and pin the Surfshark extension so that it appears in the menu bar. Now, we also want to allow the extension to be used while browsing in incognito mode. To do that, let's just click on this hyperlink next to Pro Tip. This will take you to the Chrome extension settings, and here we just need to enable Allow in Incognito. So now, no matter which mode you're browsing in, you will be able to connect to the VPN. After doing all that, we can log into the extension by just clicking on it. Next, let me show you how to install our extension on Firefox. Just like on Chrome, head over to our website, but this time, click on the Firefox download link. This will take you to the Firefox add-ons page. Here, just click the blue Add to Firefox button and click Add again. It's now installed and will now appear on the top right of your browser. So now you can log in and start connecting. But just like on Chrome, let's change some settings on Firefox to allow the extension to be used in private browsing mode. For that, let's click on the Firefox settings, head to Add-ons, then click Surfshark Details. Next, click on Manage and select Run in Private Windows. And you're done. And last on the list is Microsoft Edge. A lot of people hate Microsoft Edge, but honestly, I think it's not bad at all. And yes, I have a Microsoft browser installed on a Mac, which just feels absolutely sacrilegious. That being said, just like other browsers, let's head to Surfshark.com and log in. Then scroll down and click on Edge. After a new page opens, click Get on the right side and select Add Extension. The extension is now installed and is already pinned, but just like on other browsers, we need to make it accessible in private browsing mode. Begin by clicking on the three dots on the top right next to your picture and select Extensions. Here you will find a list of installed extensions, click on Details here, and on this new window, make sure to check Allow in Private. The Surfshark extension is now ready for use. Now that you have the extension installed, let's quickly go over the various features. On this first page, you will get a list of various VPN servers to connect to. You can also view the static IP servers by clicking on this button here. These servers have a fixed IP, meaning it will never change no matter how many times you connect to it. On the next tab, we have multi-hop locations, which route your connection through two different VPN servers instead of one. This makes your connection safer at the cost of speed. Another useful feature is hidden in the Connect button if you click on this sandwich icon. It will allow you to choose how the Connect button functions. For instance, you can change it to always connect you to a preferred location or nearest country. If you find a server that you like, make sure to click on this star icon to favorite it. That way, it will appear on the top of the list, making it easier to find. Let's now click on this cogwheel on the left side. Here, we have even more amazing features to go over, such as Auto Connect. This setting will automatically connect you to the VPN on browser launch. Just below that, you'll find the toggle for the Clean Web feature, which will block ads while browsing the web. Cookie Pop-Up Blocker is an awesome feature which will block pop-ups asking for cookie consent. I highly recommend enabling it. Bypasser will allow you to choose which websites use a VPN and which ones bypass it. Very useful if you don't want your bank to think it's being accessed from another country. Let's now go back to the top and click on the Account tab. Here you will find various account settings such as the ability to change your password, check your subscription duration, and the Refer a Friend program. And the last tab is the Help tab. Here you will find various guides and links to our support page in case you need any help. 
And that's all you need to know to get started with the Surfshark browser extension. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure to check out some of these videos here for more amazing content. That's all from me. Take care.